Hey everyone, Gem and Scrolls here. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm going to show some completed crafts and works that I've done and kind of give my opinion on them. But first, I show off my little girl. She's almost 18 months and she likes to try and help, although she's not quite accurate. She's got the motion down pat. So first up, is the Easy Whim Cupcake Magnets that I received in the May member box. These were really fun and cute to do up. I did too, and my nine-year-old did too. She really liked them. Uh, I think the camera loses out on some of uh, the sparkle that gives off on these, but the gems were really nice to work with. And on the back, there's a really decent magnet that uh, really holds it to the fridge. I plan on sealing these. I haven't done that yet, but um, I will get to that later. Okay, so next up are these Everyday E-Deal Christmas ornaments. There uh, are 10 of them in a pack, and there's different designs. These were really, really simple, even more so than the cupcake magnets. But a thing that I didn't quite like is that they have a cardboard background, so they're very different in comparison to the other quality items that um, I might show. Next is Cheshire Cat from Everyday e -Deals. He is a partial drill and a 30 by 30. This one was really easy to do and took only a, like a couple of hours at most while watching Netflix. Um, I think uh, the canvas was good, the glue was good, um, and this was look really great uh, when it's put up on the wall. Next is the one I'm calling Dog Home. I did this one from Everyday E-Deals. It is a full drill and an 80 by 30 centimeter canvas. That's canvas size, not image size. I learned that later. Um, really nice canvas to work with for the most part, except that I did have to adjust all the coloring of the letters to be a solid black over the purplish colors that it was choosing because otherwise it just looked really blurry. Um, but uh, aside from that, the canvas was really good to work with. Uh, the drills were really easy to put together and I had plenty of black in the canvas colors to do my adjustments. So the last canvas I'm going to be showing is the Four Seasons tree that I ordered off Amazon. I did this one up um, for a friend originally, but I decided to get a bigger one for her for Christmas that I'll be doing up later. The This one is around, so it went together quite quickly, and it was pretty easy to work with. I really liked it, but I just think that a larger canvas would really give out the details um, and that she would really enjoy it more. Anyway, um, so that's the last canvas. I have one more thing. The last thing I'm going to show you is this owl light that I got from the Easy Whim May member box. And it's really cute and has a battery operation option or a charge cord op operation option. And uh, lights up in different colors. It also, when you click the button, changes its settings on how fast it changes colors and if it stays on one solid color when it's staying on a solid color you tap the button again and it'll change the color that it's stay it stays on um the other really nice thing about this is it does make a great night light the only bad thing i found about it was that the drills did move as i swapped it from one side to the other to work on the other side um, otherwise it was a great thing, a uh, nice little easy thing to do in between doing my large canvases because I often am doing large canvases, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's the last thing that I've done this month and for today that I have to show for my last month's worth of crafts, uh, probably won't have as many things to show 
<clears throat> uh, next month because I've been doing a lot of large canvases. But I will post something next month as well, the end of uh, July, to show what I've completed for the month of July. So, uh, yeah, if you like and subscribe, um, we'll continue with doing my uh, pro and cons videos and unboxings as things arrive and little tidbits of random information I learned along the way. Thank you guys and have a great day.